What's going on guys and welcome to today's video and today we are going to fix the TRX Lean. Now we talked about in a previous video, I will link up here, the TRX Lean repair, the service bulletin, the whole thing talking about going into your dealership and getting the lean fixed that all of these trucks have because the fuel tanks on the driver's side, they all lean to the driver's side. This is the fix. We're actually going to get to do it. This is my good buddy's truck that I get to work on today. We're going to throw the new service bulletin springs on this thing and uh, get an alignment done and then remeasure it and see if it actually takes care of the lean. So here is his very awesome red level two TRX. And again, it's going to be absolutely impossible to see here on camera, but it does have about a quarter to half inch of lean over to the driver's side. Now, like we talked about, that's because of the fuel tank that lives on the driver's side and it's 33 gallons of heavy fuel. So the repair is replacing the left front spring and the left rear spring with a one part number heavier on both of those. So let's get into the shop, tear this thing apart and see how bad springs are to put on a TRX. I'm gonna throw you guys up on the time-lapse and we'll see what we can do.
Well guys, we just got finished up and honestly, it wasn't too bad. The rear suspension just needed the rear track bar bolt pulled out and then the lower shock bolt pulled out. You could lower the suspension enough, get that spring in and out. And then the front was just pretty typical shock spring removal for a independent front suspension truck. Nothing too crazy. Obviously we had the remote reservoir up front that we had to uh, remove, but it really went very smoothly. I was kind of surprised. Everything went well. It came apart good, went together good. And this was my first time taking a TRX suspension apart. So any trucks after this will just go quicker and smoother. So I was pretty satisfied with it. Threw it on the alignment rack, got the alignment done, and uh, now the results. So again, obviously you can't really tell here on camera, but I did walk around the whole truck with a tape measure. And before, the passenger side was sitting about a quarter to a half inch taller depending on kind of how or where you would measure but now this truck is as even as it could possibly be both of my tape measure measurements from side to side are just perfectly identical and now you may not think a quarter or half inch is really that big of difference but if you're going to be out jumping the trucks using them off-road Every little bit of ground clearance helps. I've jumped my truck a few times and one of the last times bottomed out the skid plate just a little bit and I would really like to think having that additional quarter or half inch of ground clearance possibly would have kept the truck off the ground. So if you're gonna be using them off-road, definitely get that service bulletin taken care of, get a little bit more height and have a level truck. That, that's always a good thing. So guys, as always, thanks for coming along in the shop for a TRX video. And guys, as always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.